In this video, I'm going to show you how to launch Netflix OSS Asgard from the AWS Marketplace. If we go in here, you can see the details. This is version 1.2. Here is a link to the source and the Ansible playbooks I used to create this. You can launch this in any region that you like. We're going to launch it in Northern California. Click Continue. And you can see that you can launch it on a variety of instant types. We're going to use an M1 medium for this. You can't really use anything too much smaller because Asgard really likes RAM. And here's the important part. By default, this is open to the entire internet. We will need to change this security group once the instance is up and running, uh, but I didn't have an option of just limiting it to your IP address. So let's go and launch this. Okay, so this is now launching. We can click on the AWS Management Console and go have a look at it. Okay, it looks like it has booted. It is up and running. Let's take a look at the security group for that and make that change. So you can see Netflix OSS Asgard is the one that we're interested in. And on the inbound, we want to delete port 80 open to the world and just limit it to our IP address. So what is my IP address? Well, if you do a search on Google for my IP, voila, it just comes up. So we can copy that, put in port 80, paste that in with slash 32, so it's limited to specifically that IP address, add the rule, and apply the changes. Okay, now we are the only ones that can access this, assuming we're the only ones that have access to our IP address. It's not the best security in the world, but you can figure out more if you're interested. So let's copy the address, and this will take a while to boot up. And if you're using Firefox, you're going to see this error message. I'm not quite sure what the issue is, so you probably want to talk to Joe about it if you want to get it running. So let's just use uh, Chrome instead. Alright, let's go to IAM and create a new user. Okay, let's create a new Asgard user. And we'll deselect this for now. We want to set up the properties first. Okay. So I'm going to give it power user access. It doesn't need strictly power user access, but for getting up and running and testing this out, uh, it'll do for now. We'll generate some security credentials. Great, so we can copy those into Chrome. Don't worry, all of these credentials are, uh, have been deleted by the time you see this video. To get your account ID, uh, here's a little trick. That user we just created, there's your summary and there's the ID. So we can copy that and paste that in. You also have the option of displaying public uh, images as well as just your own. It's totally up to you what you want to do. Uh, for this example, we're just going to show our own. Again, this will take uh, some time to boot up. Uh, Asgard does a lot of work to get started, uh, makes a lot of API calls and builds up its cache. Okay, so Asgard is now up and fully functional. You can go in and uh, create your first application. Manage clusters, stacks. Uh, even have a look at simple DB. Uh, for things like the Simeon Army, and there could probably be a whole series of videos on how to use Asgard, so I will leave the exploration up to you, and I hope you find it useful.